So this uh, is a short video for a uh, lot of freshers uh, who are uh, reaching out, not so much for the experienced people, but uh, what I have seen a lot of uh, people who are just graduating from college or uh, graduated last year, but still looking for a job. Uh, so the only advice that I, I have been giving out on the channel and in general that I speak about, try to build a lot of knowledge by doing the complex projects, by doing projects which are meaningful in the industry. I won't talk about much about my paid webinar. I'm doing a small webinar on 1st July. See if you can join that, but not a mandatory one. You can also build your own project specifications. You can talk to your seniors. You can talk to industry experts. Get those project specifications that you can build. Uh, there is one uh, such thing like uh, you can look for internships, whether it's paid or unpaid or any sort of internship in the industry, which helps you uh, build such projects. Uh, if you are interested, I can start something um, on this YouTube channel. Uh, won't be a paid internship, but if you guys are interested, we can start something. I can uh, post some specifications, post some challenge for you so you can take it home, build that sort of project. Uh, the only thing I would need is a bit of commitment. Um, you can build those projects in your free time, uh, come back and present it uh, for the community that what was the requirement, how you you know handle that situation and what sort of project you have built. The other uh, thing that I have seen a lot of people doing it uh, or some of them are actually very active in that space is hackathons. A uh, lot of hackathons are happening uh, nowadays. A lot of online hackathons are happening. The job I have seen myself uh, where I was selected for one of the such opportunity was because I worked on a hackathon which was very relatable to the company uh, which was interviewing me. So they are very short period uh, uh, events. Don't um, expect like a lot of long running hackathon. So if it if it is relatable to you, um, just just take part in this. You may build something and learn from it, but more uh, importantly, you will also learn from the other community members as well. What they are bringing and what sort of use cases and uh, technology have they applied. Sometimes you are smart, then you can take that knowledge as well to your interviews and for your next uh, job that yes, this is possible. Even I even though I didn't do it, I have seen this working uh, in so and so hackathon, so and so event. And then you can do a bit of research and Google and if your new job requires that sort of uh, thing, you can you can make it working. So look for such small, small opportunities. Look for internships. Um, keep uh, chasing people for internships, um, hackathons any such industry projects uh, that can help you build a sort of portfolio and uh, uh, any events happening in your city or uh, anywhere which are not time consuming or time wasting. It shouldn't be that you are spending a lot of hours uh, going for such events and doing that. So where you can cut down your time is by watching a lot of uh, very simple projects. You, if you have built some knowledge on Terraform or you understand the documentation, uh, you can follow those uh, those sort of things. I have seen a lot of YouTubers doing very basic. Uh, for example, Terraform, they will just teach how to create an EC2 instance, uh, maybe in a public subnet, maybe in a default uh, VPC or they, they won't talk about what exactly they want to do. They will just teach you Terraform. You will be happy. You will talk about that YouTuber on LinkedIn and all those places and we we'll end up wasting a lot of time. Don't be a follower of such things where uh, you know they are wasting your time. Identify such uh, people or such resources that waste your time. Once you have found the right uh, path, just stick to it. Sometimes you have to stick to the path where you're, you have some conviction that this path will give you results. Just follow, keep following that for, for a while until you realize that it's really giving you results or um, it's again wasting your time. So that's when you make your switch. So just identify such time wasting um, opportunities and cut down uh, on those. Those are some of the things uh, as a fresher I think you can do, but 
most importantly, look for opportunities um, that can add value to your resume, add value to your experience, add value to your vocabulary that you are talking in, in the interviews um, so that your experience shows hackathons, internships, some complex projects are the way to go. That, that will be the only way for you to justify um, the experience and compete with people who have experience. That's all for today. Thanks.